Aloha! Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elisa Dela Cruz and we are here with another Magic Mail Monday. Um, so I did get some amazing things in the mail. I got some pin trades and some upcoming video things that we will be working on in the future in these packages. So I'm super excited to show you guys. Please make sure if you can, please like and subscribe down below. Share the love, um, the Disney love specifically. Um, and comment down below what you love the most about this video or any ideas you have. Okay, so let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing I want to kind of jump into is just these kind of tiny, smaller little mailers. Um, I think these are all pin trades I did um, in the groups. Uh, Disney Kitties, uh, I don't know the name of the group. I'll put it right here, what the name of the group is. And I'll link that pin trading group down below in the comment section, not the comment, the description. Gosh, I'm so mumble jumble. Happy Monday, everybody who's ready for this week. So yeah, we're gonna work on these pin trades. Whoops, I dropped one on the floor. Um, so yeah, let's do this pretty purple one first. Um, it looks like it came from Culver City in California. I won't say the name because I don't know. I don't want to say the name, but it is from Culver City in California. So shout out down below if you where you're from. Okay, if I can open this, I I have a I have this really horrible thing where I cut open packages and like I cut something in the packages. So I'm trying to be very gentle and not like rip whatever is in here. Cause like I've had like cute stickers come inside of the package and then like I accidentally cut the sticker in the package. So yeah, there it is, putting my rubbish away. And then it comes in this cute little, whoever did this did an amazing job because it's nicely, it feels very secure, very safe, my pin. Okay, and okay. So here's our first item. It is a limited edi edition um, pin from Disneyland, which if you don't know, Disneyland is not open at the moment, um, but I got this amazing, it's part of the Cuckoo Clock series for 2021, and it looks like this. How cute! I love the moving element. It really looks like a cuckoo clock. And the weird thing is, I don't honestly care for this specific theme of this pin, but I have this weird thing where I love cuckoo clocks. Like I have a wish list of things that I want and one of them is getting like a Lumiere clock-ish deal. Um, and I just think that this pin is really beautiful and I love the moving elements and it is gonna be coming out every month, I believe, or is it bi-monthly? I'm not 100% sure. So I do wanna collect the series because I do love cuckoo clocks. So look how beautiful. But yes, it's Disney Parks limited edition, okay? And let's see the back. Let me show you the back. It's a really pretty gunmetal and it has all the heart waffling and it is a limited edition of 3000, okay, on this gorgeous pin. And it will be going on this pin board here. I mainly put, um, I'm not really fully done with this pin board yet, but I am putting like my limited edition series pins. So if you can see some of them right here on each end, and I have a little roll of some of them. Um, that's what that board is for. So I can display all my beautiful limited edition pins. And I finally got this board up. It wasn't up. You notice in my previous videos, the wall was always blank. And I finally, my hubby, my wonderful hubby James, finally put the pin up for me. So yeah, this will be a new one that is starting on that wall. So I'm hoping they come out with more like girly things. I'm hoping, I don't know what the following, I think it's bi-monthly because it's already February and this is only the only one that came out. So I'm not 100% sure. I'll put it right here to explain what it is. I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so here's our next one. And this one is coming from Kaiser, Missouri. I think MO, Missouri, I believe it is. Or is it Montana? I'm not 100 Oh my gosh, Elisa, go back to school. I gotta go back to school. <laughs> okay, cutting very nicely, very nicely packaged also. There's two things. Oh no, that's just padding. Okay, and I, you know, call me weird, judge me, whatever. I save the padding from people's packages because why not? Why do I have to buy my own? And it says, thank you, have a happy 2021 with a cute little note on it. Oh, so cute. And it's a Mickey sticky note with um, the castle in the corner. It is so cute. Oh, I love when people put little magic in there with like a note or something. 
I should probably start doing that, but I have it. Oh my gosh. Okay, speaking of limited edition series, we got the limited edition stitch pin, which I found this on eBay. Um, I've been searching. If you can, I don't know if you can really see right there, but this is the same series as that. And I'm this was one of the last two I need. The last pin I need from this series is the figment pin. Figment pin is going for an astronomical price. So if you have the figment pin of this series and you're wanting to trade or sell, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. I'll put my Facebook and Instagram down below also in the uh, description. So if you have it and you don't want it, don't need it, you want to trade or sell, let me know if you're selling at a decent price. If you're not selling it for like eBay, they're selling it for like over a hundred dollars and i'm like um no <laughs> it's not worth it i'll just stick to what i can get so i have 11 out of the 12 at the current moment of this series so stitch was one of my last ones and look how amazing so it's the i collect series and it is a hinge pin so it's kind of like it's a pin bag and you open up and there's all stitch pins so cute and obviously i live in hawaii so i love stitch because it's hawaii themed so super cute i love stitch he's like uh -huh, in the middle <laughs> so cute with the ukulele and you got scrump in there with lilo and the duck and the shave ice and the vinyl for elvis and like oh i love it so much i love this pin my mom is even more of a heavier stitch collector than i am but i just i love stitch so i do have some stitch pins i'm not a heavy collector but my mom is a heavy collector of stitch pins um and also let me know if you're collecting that stitch series i'm gonna be real i think they're ugly <laughs> so my mom is actually getting them anyway but she she just is a diehard stitch fan so yeah goes with that theming here's our second pin and then our last pin trade we got is from fair play colorado Ooh, okay let's see what this is trying to cut very nicely i can't remember what it is i love that we're getting mail from everywhere though see here this is why i have to be careful we got some stickers oh thank you so much for the stickers and they're um lion king themed you have simba and you have um i think they're all simba in different ages and nala so cute thank you i love getting stickers i love stickers okay and then here is the last pin oh there's another one it's genie as a zoom zoom oh thank you i love stickers i love them even if i don't use them i just like to look at them okay so, okay and then nicely wrapped again what is in here oh i got a sebastian pin you guys i love the little mermaid I love it so much. Look how beautiful. He's like all golden. He's a golden crab. Yes, it's a D23 official 2019. I don't know what this is from. D23 event, I think, maybe? I'm not sure. If you know what this is from, it was a trade. I think I traded for one of the movie posters I opened in a previous video, or was it for a princess dress pin? It's one of those for this Sebastian which I, my main collection, my number one character from Disney is The Little Mermaid and specifically Ariel, but I also love all the side characters in that movie as well. So I'm so happy now we got a Sebastian to add. I don't think I have any like big pins. I have like tiny little, um, like a tiny pin of Sebastian, like on a, what are those from Kiss the Girl scene? You know what I'm talking about. So that's, I think that's, a tiny pin of sebastian so now i have a nice big golden pin of sebastian love that okay the next package it's gonna be a video that i'm gonna have coming up very very soon so super excited let's dive into that mailer hey here it is it's a big mailer i don't want to turn it around to expose any names or addresses but this is coming from hollywood florida she's a really amazing personal shopper that i found in these pin trading groups so she's super sweet and amazing and she is just very reliable so she is but she i think is located in florida which is why she has easy access to getting all these items for us so she's not just for me she does it for a lot of people she's a personal shopper um so let's open this up and this is what i will be trying to collect um and i want to hang it up and display this okay so here it is it is the tiny kingdom series 
and it looks like this look how beautiful and you guys know i love disney and i i like to display disney things in my house i'm slowly starting to get a little collection right here on the side and i have some in my living room that i have but this is where the tiny kingdom and you put the pins on here in their certain locations and it just makes a beautiful map of disney world and so i'm super excited there is um obviously the castle you have epcot with the monorail trail going through you have uh i don't know what the name of the water park is but you have the water parks here um, you have like the golf course in the middle. You have um, Hollywood Studios with the, what is this ride called? Tower of Terror. And then you have Animal Kingdom with the Tree of Life right here, which is so cute. And then you have a little uh, Tiny Kingdom completer pin right there with your clouds. And then in the back, you can see they have a little pouch to store some of your pins. And then you have a hook here to hang up um, this this little doodad you know so i got this because i do love i love tiny tiny little things so people are like tiny pins are a ripoff but i love 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 tiny pins so when they came out with this i i never collected the series ever before so i'm super excited to get started on that and i have the pins so i have three of them here i actually have more coming from her um, but I have three boxes because there comes, look how many pins are in this series. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 pins in this series. So yeah, I only have three and I believe it comes with three in each box. And I'm going to try my best to collect as many as I can because I really want to make it beautiful on this mat. And then display it as like a proud, like a proud display of my work you know so i got three but i actually have a bunch more boxes coming in because obviously i only have nine pins out of the 24 so and obviously trading in the group if i have multiples and also the last thing that is in here she's so sweet because uh, i ordered these pins a while ago and she asked you want me to just hold these in case you want to get anything else so you can save on shipping i was like yes Yes, I want to save on shipping. So here is one of them. It is the Princess Crown series. I have Cinderella here with her. The pin itself is the crown, Cinderella's crown. And I actually have a couple of them on this board too. And I have some in this Mickey bag. And I'm such a dummy, you know. I wasn't as avid as a collector before. So now I know how um, amazing it is to keep the pin backs on these, um, the backer cards on these. And the second one I have is Aurora one of my favorite princesses um so now i feel like i regret throwing the backer cards and they're just the pin itself is in that bag and i don't have the backer card so i'm like i don't know if i want to display it on the board because it doesn't have the backer card i might just keep it like that and one of them is my aerial crown and i'm so sad like oh if anybody has a backer card i want the backer card if you don't want the backer card i want your backer um card of aerial Bell is it Ariel Bell and Rapunzel those three backer cards I don't have so yeah here's the two let me show you the reflection it, without the reflection on it it is such a beautiful pin obviously my main collection is obviously princesses so yeah look at how beautiful and I love Cinderella's mm, face you know and then we got Aurora here and this one is such a ugh, it really looks beautiful I love the pin so those are the two other two that are in this package okay and then our last so our last package here is from that same company that i did from last week's magic mail video which is from magic launch bay which is located in hong kong so i'm super excited um i'm in the uh, group where they sell some of their items they do pin boxes but they also do like merch items from different places other than the u.s um, they do have U.S. items also, but it's mainly like not U.S. So like Hong Kong, Japan, Shanghai, all those Paris, like all those different places. Um, and so they have a warehouse and I think they're moving warehouses. So they're trying to get rid of some of their things. And so they have these like uh, in their group, which I'll link down below in the description where I got these items from. Um, they, they're just like making packages of things and it's a themed one and obviously I saw this theme and I had to have it. It is a Little Mermaid theme and <coughs> I'm telling you guys, 10 out of 10 this company. I love the mystery box was so good, so good um, and I just loved it and then 
I'm so excited to open this because it's Little Mermaid. So let's go in. Let's have, shut up, Alisa. Let's open this box up. Okay, let's get in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys. And their mail from Hong Kong is freaking fast. It's freaking fast. Okay, so I'm cutting it up. There's like a weird smell coming from the box. Am I tripping? Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I see when I open this box. So it looks like this. I can see all my things in here. You can clearly tell it's Little Mermaid themed. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. I I think Ariel is just, I wanna be Ariel. Okay, so the first thing right here is this Little Mermaid. It looks like a tote bag or like a reusable bag. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Oh my gosh, it's the Little Mermaid 30 years. Looks like this. So it's in this little doodad where I don't know what it is called, but it's the casing for the bag. And then you open it up. My mom has bags like these like in her purse. So you open it up. Here it is. And then it looks like this. And this is so reusable. Um, and really good to take to the store. So I love that it's pink. Obviously, Little Mermaid is not really pinky themed, but I love Little Mermaid and I love pink. So I love this pattern. It's kind of like the shells. And then if you're wondering what it looks like with the pouch, it kind of goes on the side like this. Ow, whacked my lip. But it looks like this. And I love this. Ariel looks so beautiful in this. Isn't she gorgeous? And then I love this little detail of having the little shell on that, um, on the zip. So beautiful. I love this. Okay, first item. Beautiful and very, very useful for me. I have paper stuffed in here. Okay, let's do this thing. What is this thingy? What is this? Where's my box cutter? Where's my box cutter? Okay, sorry guys. Okay. All right, what is this next thing? I think it's a mug, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, oh, look how beautiful the box is. It's pink. And then you have this gorgeous, like, floral um, design on the side, and it's purple. And then on the top, you see A. Okay, and so I was like, oh, this box was made for me because obviously Ariel starts with A, but my name is Elisa, and it starts with A, right? So fitting for me it was made for me this mug okay it is in good shape looks good no cracking okay here's the um it's in another language so i don't know what it says and oh it's such a beautiful mug here we go let me move this okay it's a mug it's white and it has little pink details the inside is also pink and here is ariel she's beautiful with the a for Alisa or Ariel, whatever you want to say, but I'm going to say A for Alisa. A for me. Okay? So look at that amazing mug. And it's a perfect size for like soup. Like I love to eat soup out of my mugs. And this is like the perfect size. And it's so beautiful. Ariel, you're a beautiful girl. Okay? Next item. I'm going to save the best for last. Um, look at this. I don't know. I've never seen this before, but look how beautiful she looks on the box. It says Q Posket Disney character characters characters Ariel dreamy style. Um, and look at that. Like she just looks amazing. I think this is Japanese. I gotta ask my mom what it's saying, but she just looks amazing. What is this? Why does she have two different colors? One is like a white and one is like an ivory. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna ask my mom what it says. And so let's go into this. Like I said, I'm gonna make a little aerial section in this area, cause she just makes me happy looking at her. Okay, so let's open this up. Yes, I'm not, I'm gonna take her out. She's going out, she's not. Some people are inbox collectors, I am not. I take them out. Um, certain things I take out, some things I don't. Um, <clears throat> Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the? <laughs> Where? <laughs> All I see is her body. I'm like, oh no, her head broke. But then 
and look it's separate it's like all separated in this thing oh my gosh this is spooky but funny at the same time let me assemble her real quick and then once i assemble her i'll bring you guys okay here she is all assembled it is beautiful figure it is made kind of like out of a plastic on some parts but then like her body feels like it's ceramic kind of ish i don't know maybe hard plastic and i just don't know it's hard plastic probably but look how beautiful her face is with her earrings and her like 1990s dress with her puffy sleeves she is the ivory color with little lines of like that teal um or green color i don't know i'm colorblind apparently with her beautiful blue eyes and she has her veil she does look beautiful and it's kind of has like a shininess to it if you can see that she is so beautiful and it comes with this plate i don't understand the purpose of the plate she doesn't stick anywhere but i guess she just stands on the plate she's a, she's a snack because she is <laughs> you know so she comes out on this plate all right girl okay so let's get into this last item let me put her down very gently right behind you guys okay and our last the most the main reason i wanted this package was for this last thing and i don't know if you guys can see it but it's this beautiful like figure of ariel singing i want to be where the people are i want to see you know singing that and there's flounder in there too so let's let me open this up and show you guys oh my aerial collection is growing and i am so here for it i also have a gym shore of the little mermaid um that i'm just loving and it is such a beautiful piece and i eventually want to collect all the gym shores of ariel because i just want to have this amazing beautiful show of ariel because she is queen she is the queen the box is amazing too so i have to keep the box because we are planning on moving later on in the future um so i have to save this so i can put her safely inside of the box when we move okay let's get into this let me cut it so much packaging work to go through oh oh, oh i scratched the box way to go elisa okay Ooh, Come on out, girl. And the background on this box is amazing. I wish that there was a way I could keep the box on without, you know. Oh, <gasps> look at how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, it says Disney's The Little Mermaid on the bottom. And you can just see her sitting, perching on the rock, holding flounder with oh and then i love the little details of the little seahorse i'm telling you little tiny things it's my thing i love it so these little tiny seahorses and you have sebastian um and she has that uh the candle abra holding the the knife and the fork and the obviously the dingle hoppers missing oh the dingle hoppers right here down below um and this is so beautiful and it's like not too big but not too small it's about the size of my face oh and she is looking gorgeous as always oh my gosh this is oh there's a little nemo you guys you look at it and you see more and more things there's a little nemo do you see him the nemo and you have the shell where ursula holds her voice and go ah yes there she is oh i am so I'm loving this it's beautiful and you guys i'm telling you if you guys are looking for like out of this um out of the country things really amazing things i'm gonna link their group down below and go check out their group um so yeah ending products we'll show a little uh pan of all the things i got in this video again please make sure you like and subscribe down below i really truly appreciate the the support i've been getting um, please comment down below what was your favorite thing if you love Ariel or what is your favorite princess or Disney character in the comments like I said um, it doesn't cost a thing to subscribe and like it doesn't cost a thing so please hit that button have a wonderful rest of your week stay safe guys aloha and ahoy ho bye